What's up everybody? Welcome to the Third World Dream. I'm your host Chi, and in this video, I will be giving you guys a complete guide on sluggery. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on updates, tips, and future guides that I will be making in this channel. So, what is sluggery? Sluggery is a skill that involves slugs and hutches. You can place a slug in a hutch and it provides you with resources every 60 minutes. Whenever you collect these resources, your experience on the skill increases. Slugs cannot be moved nor removed once you place them on a hutch, so be careful wherever you choose to place your slug farms. Slug hutches also grant a range of resources that have their own requirements and grant their own XP. To gain sluggery XP, you'll need to purchase a slug from Box Galore. It costs 1000 coins. Each slug hutch can only hold one slug at a time and it stays there for the entirety of its life. As you level up, the slug will drop rarer items depending on the percent drop chance. Resources on the slug hutch do not stack, so even if you don't collect from your hutch for a long period of time, you will be only getting one set of the resources once you collect it. After a number of uses, the slug will eventually die. The number of uses is not really known yet, but it's believed to be at a random amount between 120 to 160 uses. The death is not time-based, so it can be there for months, even years, only use-based. So once you've used it for the certain duration that it's meant to be alive, it will eventually die. Finally, it costs 5 energy to collect from every hutch farm. Now, let's move to the 3 resources you can collect from this slug hutch. The first is silk fiber. This is the first resource you can collect from a slug hutch. It unlocks at level 0. It drops 3 pieces of silk fiber at a time per collection. It has a drop rate chance of 10% and it gives 2 XP every time you collect it. It can be used to craft silk cloth, silk rope, plaster, growth kit lab, not ugly Christmas sweater, and previously CX for the Mochaverse quest I think. This is done through the use of textiles, another skill that will be discussed in the next video. So subscribe so you don't miss that out. So let's move on to the next one which is Silk Slug Slime. It gets unlocked once your sluggery skill is at level 2. It drops 2 pieces at a time and it has a drop chance of 20% once you collect it. This also gives 14 XP every time it's collected. It can be crafted into silk cloth, silk rope, glue, clear shell, scarlet wine, grumpkin wine, four leaf clover regano, and a small purple rug. Among the three resources that's dropped in this slug hutch, this has the most crafting paths into it. Finally, we have the silk slug spider. You unlock this at level 5. It only drops one piece and only has a 5% drop chance rate. It gives 43 XP when collected, and it can only be crafted into a G mix. Again, I think this was for an event. So far, there are no major uses for it in the game. Its only value comes from its rarity, and that sometimes it would be asked of you in the task board. Now, let's move to where you can find slug hutches. The first place you can find a slug hutch is at the west side of Terra Villa. It's located around the bottom left side of the sauna building, right here. The second place you can find a slug hutch or slug hutches is on NFT farmlands of other players. To search for this, head to pixels.tips, links will be on the description, go to land, and on the left side you can input industries. Select slug hutch. Personally, I prefer to have four slug hutch working at the same time in one land for ease of collection. So select four hutches for the four industries. It's up to you if you want one, two, three, or four at the same time. That's all up to you. Now, ideally, you should look for farms with coops, windmills, and soil to plant on. There, however, is a problem with the land selection, especially if you don't have guilds. I'm sure you guys are aware, or you have seen, or you have already experienced, that some lands are being locked. This leaves us with the next possible spot, and that is your spec. 
you can create your own slug hutch and put it on your spec and here's how. First, be sure you have some coins before you enter because the blueprints alone is gonna cost you 10,000 coins and then go head out to the Ministry of Innovation. The building is located south of Terra Villa just beside the Drunken Goose building. Click on the Browse Innovations and go ahead and buy the Silk Slug Hutch Blueprint. Once you've done that, you can now click onto the table and a Silk Slug Hutch crafting material should be placed there and now it would show you all the materials you need to make your own slug hutch. And once you have all the materials, you can now craft it and just click on craft. If I'm not mistaken, it's gonna take quite a lot of energy in the hundreds area to craft this and 24 hours of waiting time for it to be crafted. Once you've done that, you will be given this kit which you can then put on your spec. I haven't personally tried this yet because I don't have the materials for it. As you can see, if you go to the marketplace, these materials are very expensive. So I don't have access to it yet, but that is my late game goal to have some silk slug hutch on my spec. Especially once we can start upgrading the spec on the full phase 2 of pixels. Anyways, I hope this video has helped you guys and was informative. Leave a like as it promotes it to the YouTube algorithm and it's a free way to help me and show your support. Doing this really motivates me to make more informative videos such as this. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. I will be making a video on a complete guide to textiles so you don't miss that out. I will also be making probably more videos like this for every other skill on the game. So subscribe to not miss any of those. I've also made a two-part video on a complete guide to farming. If you wanna check that out, just go to the description to see the links for those. And finally, I will be giving away a bunch of pixels once we hit a thousand subscribers. I will be giving one lucky winner 10 pixels, five people with five pixels. And as we grow as a channel, I will be giving more giveaways, maybe even VIPs in the future once we're big enough. So I hope you guys subscribe. Let's all help each other out. Comment below anything I missed. Comment below what kind of videos you want me to make. I'll do my best to make videos on those and keep you guys updated on everything Pixels. And until then, happy gaming everybody.